Thank you, MC and organizer, giving me this opportunity. And we already listened a lot from the distinguished guests. So many these two days. So uh, you know we are engaged after uh, uh, planning, the forest inventory and planning. So here I would like to introduce something situation. As we know that Tian Dongnan, this is uh, southeast part of Guizhou province in the West China. So we would like to introduce the culture and the industry by the fog situation. Tian Dongnan, later I would like to say Tian Dongnan, this is southeast of Guizhou in the west part of China. So it's close to many places like Guangxi and Gui and Yunnan. So this is the area totally is 30,000 square km. It's quite huge. And on the coverage, the forest coverage is 62.78%. So this is a quite high rate of the forest coverage. And it is one of the key forest zones of the nation. And also one of the seven top core production site of the China fur and with the total acre and the reserve of the forest the rate like 38.4 percent and 58.50 percent so this is the location and then we have a view to the forest and this is a wide coverage in this area especially for this ancient tree ancient trees I like the fur, the cubrisaceae uh, of multiple species. So as record, recorded in Tiannan Shi Lue, that's an uh, important forest book that fixed, that composed in the Qin, Qin Dynasty. That's about 600 years ago. They, they said at the time the forest area is over 200 miles. So totally in Guizhou province in West China, the forest coverage is 42.5%. And totally in, the, in here, that's the, I mean the arbor, the arbor forest is 82 million more, accounting for 98% of the total forest. And the Chinese forum is 15.9 million more so accounting for like 27.8 percent so that is very important in china so in 1956 the professor wu Zhonglun of the china forest academy have a survey to this area and then they found out that those that the height of the uh, China fur for 10 years growing that can come to 15.3 meters high and then the reserve per moon is about 12.24 cubic meters and averagely that the annual growth is about 1.53 cubic meters per moon and also that the nation in Jinping County, Chen Banpo here, for the 18 years old artificial China fur, so averagely the reserve volume per moon reached 48.6 cubic meter, so three times, 3.6 times to the national standard. So in the 1986 and September 1986 and September 1987 in Hubei and Jiangxi province we have the national coordination meeting so according to our multiple tests to those uh, pilot zones we confirm that in Jinping and in this area that we are, rank, we are at the top rank for the quality of China fur and according to the records that the China fur cultivated in Miao area, in Miao nationalities area, they have a very good image and good quality. For example, in anti decade, we anti uh, anti uh, insects, 
and it's good to use for multiple purposes. So, in Ming, in Ming Zhengde, in Ming Dynasty, it's about 1514, the year that the emperor assigned a team, assigned team, team and team again to many places like Hunan, or Guang, Hunan, Hubei, Sichuan, and Guizhou, this area, to collect the royal wood. Especially go to Tiandongnan to collect the royal wood. In the 19th century, that in Tianqingshuijiang River, and the annual distribution volume is about two or three million. Um, it uh, sells a lot, and in the early 20th centuries, so also the share to sales quality is very high. And up to the establishment of New China, Tiandongnan, this state, used this good quality fur to as the major material for many key projects like Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge or Wuhan Yangtze River Bridge or even the People's Congress Hall in Beijing. So since 1951 until that, that Tiandongnan the state offered a big quantity of China fur to the whole state. And then 30% the of the fiscal revenue of the whole state coming from forestry. And then the 70% of the uh, key county rely on the forest industry. And 30.33% of the uh, farming population rely on the forestry industry. And as many as 8,600 people are working in the forestry processing enterprises. So according to the records about the cultivation and plantation of China fur, we already have a long history according to the records from Ming Dynasty that the scale of the plantation in Tiandongnan is reached a comparatively high level. In the Qing Dynasty, that the artificial plantation already entered a mature stage. So in Qianlong, year the 1736, we already have the uh, records for the artificial technology. And also that uh, we have acquired a lot of experiences. For example, the how to select the plant, uh, how to cultivate in the later in farmlands, and how to identify the good breeding, good breeding, and how to 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 have the best techniques to to plant in the different kinds of the region. And now I'd like to talk about the forest development in late uh, 1980s and uh, in the Tianzhongnan we have a plant forest of about 4.25 million acres among which we plant 2.8 million acres of Chinese fur. In addition, and uh, we borrowed the loans from the World Bank to uh, to plant the forest. And actually, the afforestation is in two stages. The first stage is from 1991 to 1994, and the second stage is from 1995 to 1998. So no matter it is in the first stage or it is in the second stage, and actually, the afforestation of Chinese fur is uh, is uh, uh, about 70 percent of total plantation of uh, forests. So uh, when we uh, when we uh, grow the forest, and we will uh, choose a very suitable uh, trees, and now we get uh, a lot of support from the government. For us, when we uh, make a planning for the forest, and uh, we will identify the and select the suitable trees and species. And here you can see uh, this is China National Forestation Project. And uh, this is the production of uh, seeds of Chinese fur. And I'm sure that uh, uh, you must be very familiar with, with this picture. And this is a soil production uh, preparation 
for the plantation of Chinese furs because now the ecological environment is deteriorating. So in order to grow better Chinese furs, we will prepare the soil uh, first. So no matter for the economic benefits of for better results, and we will uh, prepare the soil for plantation of Chinese furs. And uh, here, you can see the uh, saplings that are the young, young trees of Chinese forest. And uh, now I'd like to talk about the transportation. And we know that uh, the land transportation is not very uh, developed. It, I, actually, it is very backwards. So we use the uh, waterway, water cars, to transport the Chinese furs along the Yantes River and the other rivers in uh, in Guizhou province. So according to historical uh, records in the Ming and Qing dynasty, about uh, 200 and uh, 200,000 and uh, 300,000 cubic meters of Chinese fur is uh, transported to different parts in China by uh, through the water cows. In terms of the Chinese food culture, first I'd like to talk about the wood business culture. And we have developed a very unique cultural system of forestation, preservation, and harvesting, the application, and the maintenance of the forests. And we also have the forestry, uh, forest agreement or contracts which specify the sales of the uh, Chinese fur and the other related uh, operations of, of Chinese fur. And this is, in, uh, this is so called the uh, Wood Era. This is a book. And we have different types of forestry contracts and agreements. I will not uh, go into detail. In 2004, relevant scholars come to uh, come to Tianzhongnan to have a look of the Jinping agreements. And actually, we have about uh, 300,000 forestry agreements in Tianzhongnan. In terms of the four clouds, and uh, the customers, the traditions, and uh, just now we 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 know that uh, previous speakers talk about uh, the four clouds, and in the Dong nationalities and in the Miao nationalities, they will grow the feng shui forests, and we have the uh, 18 years old Chinese fur. And we have the coffin trees. And when we select the coffin trees, which type of trees are selected for uh, making coffins? And actually, it's, it's very uh, special in Tianzhongnan. And uh, we also have the cultural, uh, we ha also have the folklore uh, and the tradition of stealing, stealing the trees to uh, make a beam for the houses, and uh, this is a worship uh, worship tree, and uh, for the villagers, they will uh, worship the uh, wo they will worship the trees and uh, pray for for a peaceful life, and uh, this is uh, uh, the girls' mountain, the girls' forest. That is that means that when a girl uh, gets married. And the the forests or the trees will be one of will be part of her uh, marriage jewelries. Also, for the uh, Chinese fur, it is also used as a, a token of love between uh, girls and boys. This is the tree uh, burial. 
and in uh, the county of Jiang, and actually the local people worship the god of trees. So after uh, they died, they will be buried. They will uh, be buried in the in the trees. So when a uh, people is died, they will come. To, uh, people, the relatives or family members will come to the uh, mountains to cut down the Chinese fir, which is planted when the uh, when the boy or girl is. Uh, is is born. So uh, after the coffin is buried, and they will pl plant another Chinese fur on top of the coffin for the uh, memorial purpose. And for the Chinese fur industry, they are the traditional industry. For example, the uh, drum tower and the diao diao jiao uh, buildings and the uh, flower bridges are very famous and they are uh, uh, the magical architect architectures. I will not go into details about the uh, feng yu uh, bridges and the flow and the, the diao jiao building and the drum towers. And actually uh, for uh, the status, the current status of the Chinese fur industry Currently, there are 132 wood processing factories, and in 2012, and we consumed about 80, 868,000 cubic meters of wood. According to the statistics, statistics in 2012, the total industrial output is around 2.2 billion among which the, uh, the preliminary processing is around uh, 785 million RMB, accounting for 35.7% uh, and the finished product is around 395 million your, uh, RMB, accounting for about 17.9%. And so now uh, in general, the processing factories are small uh, SMEs and the, uh, by the technology and the equipment are relatively backwards. The quality, the processing quality is not very uh, good. So uh, now we want to improve the utilization uh, rate of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the wood. And uh, for the uh, Ninety percent of the logging slash is not uh, utilized, and eighty percent of the of the uh, processing residues is not utilized. And uh, so, in the future, we will uh, we will further make use of the uh, of the uh, logging slash and the residues. And uh, here you can see the wood place and uh, and uh, the furniture and the buildings. Here you can see uh, the integrated management of the forests. We also developed uh, the industry development plan in order to promote the sustainable development of the industry. And uh, we uh, make in, in according with the development uh, plan, and uh, we will build uh, 4.5 million more of renewable material for uh, uh, first uh, first uh, uh, and uh, we will also uh, launch products of uh, HDF, uh, which will uh, which will amount to around uh, 320 cubic meters. And we will also will launch a project of a chip belt with a new capacity of 300,000 cubic meters. And we conducted relative studies and the feasibility report. In terms of the industry planning, and uh, we have uh, developed uh, forestry economic development uh, planning 
and uh, we hope uh, we will plant around 101.4 million acres of uh, Chinese fur. And uh, we will also further develop the advantages of uh, integrated utilization and application of uh, Chinese fur. According to our uh, planning, and uh, we will also build uh, built uh, wooden uh, houses with uh, Chinese fur and actually 70% uh, of the houses will be built with uh, Chinese fur and the government will give some subsidy, will subsi subsidize the projects and we also uh, set up a series of uh, standards for construction for the uh, for the uh, for the development of of the industry, and we we hope that uh, we can set up uh, some factories to uh, to manufacture the modules of of the houses, so that we can assemble uh, the houses in a very easy way, and we also can have the R and D uh, centers. Uh, we conduct extensive researches on the seed, uh, on the on the seeds of uh, Chinese fur, and we have identified identified four uh, species as the good uh, seeds of uh, Chinese fur, and we uh, hope that in in the future we will conduct more. Extensive researches on the integrated application and the utilization of Chinese fur in the future, and we we can also hope that we can transform the R and D results into into application. In summary, the Chinese fur is closely integrated with the Miao and the Dong nationalities as ethnic culture, and the Miao and the Dong nationality people have special attachment to cultivation, processing, and application of Chinese fur. At last, I think that uh, if we conduct further research on the integrated application of Chinese fur, if the, the farmers of the Tiandong Nan can be lift, lifted out of poverty. Mm -hmm.